So on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the most challenging, where does modernizing legacy web applications fit in? I think modernizing legacy web apps is one of the hardest things you can do. Whenever you take a system that exists today and you, you try to build it up and, and port it to something new, you're going to have any number of challenges from data conversion to skill set upgrades, lots of administrative things, and then there's the backlog of everything that's dependent on it. And so I, I tend to think it's very high on this guy. I tend to think it's seven or eight at least. Yeah, so it's not something to be underestimated. No, absolutely. If you don't go into it with proper planning and with a lot of foresight and a clear goal of what you're trying to accomplish, it's going to fail without question. What are the signs that it's time to modernize? I think as you look at a system, when you first roll out, you first deploy, you get this little curve and it, it's very steep at first because it's new, everybody's trying to get used to it and so support's on up there. And then as it gets stable, it starts to go down and it dips and that's where you're in the good place. You know, the system's stable, it's mature, things are working well. And then at some point, costs, support requests, maintenance starts to slowly tick up. For me, that's your indicator that you need to start looking at modernization. It started to exceed that lifetime. So what are the early decisions you need to make when you embark on a modernization project? I think the, the most important thing is having a concrete vision in mind. A lot of people say when they start out, I just want to do what I have today. Mm. And that's not, <laughs> it's not going to sure. work. That's right. not an objective. That's, that's going to set you up to fail. It's going to set you up for all sorts of bad requirements like just do what it does today and you'll skip all these things like requirements analysis and domain modeling that you really need to do. So in my mind, setting that vision of what it is you're trying to accomplish, not just replacing the system, but what do we want to have when we're done is the most important thing. Do you have to stop for a moment and realize that you're in a modernization project? I think you absolutely do. One of the things that I, I set with project teams is up front say, okay, we are taking this opportunity to modernize. We are doing an upgrade. What are the technology stacks we want to use here? Mm -hmm. This is not just a, a new project. This is a different beast, so let's treat it appropriately. Right, it seems like you could kind of slide into doing modernization without realizing it, and then you're not actually engaged in the project. Absolutely, and then on the other hand, you can do the exact opposite, where you turn into a project just like any other, and you do things the exact same way you did before. Right. Uh, can web apps be constructed so future modernization is, is easier, or is this process always going to be a hard one? I think there's some things you can do, but at the end of the day, it's always going to be hard. Documentation is easily the, the biggest thing. Uh, there's some research that I've looked at that says that most legacy projects have good documentation. Unfortunately, it's all about the development process. None of it's actually about the system itself. Sure. Uh, and so just leaving a a legacy of you know what domain model were we basing things on? How did we how were we thinking about the requirements? That that sort of legacy is really critical to new new development activity. So it's not so much about the building process. It's about kind of making sure that you're covering your tracks. And you're Absolutely. What you're no, knowing where we were headed and why we were going there and what we thought we were building. Interesting. So last question for you, what people or projects are you following these days? Uh, I'm a bit of a technology magpie, so every time I see something new and shiny, I go, oh, what's <laughs> that over there? Um, things that are holding my attention right now in particular are the .NET Core project, uh, you know, making .NET a, a truly open source participant is, is an interesting project, and I think there's a lot of good things coming out of that, and a lot of the things that have been bundled into the Cortana cognitive suite, um, you know, fit into my, uh, my love of all things AI. Great. Well, thank you for being with us. No, I enjoyed it. Thank you.